It's Bob Davis 321. Back once again with uh, 3D printing. Showing some of my uh, tricks for printing small parts. And here's some of them. One, hairspray. Yep, ordinary hairspray. Uh, besides cleaning with acetone, nail polish remover, and sometimes even scraping with a razor blade to get it completely clean. Uh, also spray lightly one or two sprays of hairspray to help parts stick. Another secret weapon, it's a siren iron. Sometimes you get these bumps on things that just continue layer after layer. You can go in and remove them. And here's another trick. A three millimeter brim. I don't know if you can quite see it there, but uh, I do a three millimeter brim around the objects before it prints. That gives a bigger surface area to stick to. Maybe if I came in a different angle, it'd be more visible. Um, oh, and another change is to tell it to print the infill before printing the outside edge, i.e., print infill first. And here's the reason why that helps. When it prints the outside edge and then goes away and does something else and comes back and does the infill later, even though the plastic shrinks when it cools, it shrinks in the X and Y axis, but it seems to expand in the Z axis as it cools. This expansion in the Z axis leaves a bump for it to pass over when it comes back to do the infill. So if it does the infill second when it passes over that expanded outer edge, it'll knock the part loose. And I've had it send parts flying where you hear them bouncing off the walls because of the impact. So anyway, there's some changes. There are some hints. I got rough edges on those fingers right there. And I did take a soldered iron and smooth them off because they were curling up quite a bit and then you could hear the print head hit them when it would print them. I wish I knew how to get Slicer to do both the edge and the infill in one pass and then go do the next one. Uh, when you're doing multiple parts like this, Slicer loves to do, you know, one thing on this part, one thing on that part, right down the line. Anyways, one of my things I'm working on is printing out a, a few of the 3D hands. Um, here's working on another one of the 3D hands. I haven't figured out exactly what size screw to use. It's probably uh, metric. But um, I haven't been able to print out the fingers yet because I hadn't, hadn't figured out about the those tricks. So I'll go back and try to do the fingers. I've got a, a few of the fingers printed, but most of the fingers, I don't know if you can see them through the bag, crashed horrifically. Yeah, you can see that one. So, also, coming up soon, I have my third extruder. We're using extruder 2. There, blue extruder with an all-metal uh, hot end. Uh, the original extruder was all-metal altogether. $55 on eBay and you get what you pay for. And then here is my extruder number three. This uses a uh, printed extruder connector. Uh, the hot end is, uh, I think it's classified as Teflon or PTFE or something like that. Coming down to the end piece. The hold up on this is getting the right bearing. As you see, the bearing there is too small, and a 608 bearing is too big. So I gotta find some size in the middle to get the right bearing for this thing to get it to work. As soon as I can get the right bearing for it, um, it should be ready to go. I got everything else there. Then I'll be able to compare the three extruders and hope to write a magazine article comparing the three extruders. Basically the different options, but I've been really impressed with this all-metal hot end. It, it never misses a beat, and it runs cool enough. I can put my finger right on it, 
and it does not burn. And that's just with a little uh, two by two box fan. Actually, it can't even be two inches. It's uh, I think they call it 40 millimeters because it's two inches between the rails. I'm holding the uh, cooling fan on with a wire tie. One of these days, I need to make a mounting bracket for it. But for now, wire tie is doing. So anyway, there's a 3D hand being printed out. I wish the uh, people that put these designs up would uh, give you separate parts so that if you have a part crash, you can try again. I just print certain parts. Well, that's all for tonight.